what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog I know it has been a while since I gave you all an update and uh, I have good reasons for that but the 5.3 is ready to rock she's wrapped up out of the way it's all there so everything is everything is all good the truck is uh, officially out of here and the S10 is back and if y'all haven't I haven't posted any pictures of this but I went ahead and threw the uh, 18s back on it. I just kind of missed the look of the uh, big wheels. You know, they allow, uh, got a little bit better tire on them. And there's several different reasons why I would want to go back to this. Is just, you know, obviously if we're going to put, you know, something that's uh, a little bit faster in this truck, I felt as if it needed a tire that could keep up. And it just so happens that these uh, NT triple fives are fantastic and they're at like 70 percent tread i mean they have plenty of life left in them um you know i ran these wheels for quite a while but i took them off just because i got bored of the look and i wanted to go old school so i mixed it up through rallies on it now they're back um i think they look pretty good they give the truck a nice touch if you guys know some of my earlier videos you've seen these things before uh they're actually kind of dated uh these wheels are probably about five six years old so they've been around a little while but you guys haven't seen it with this new look on it it's been a while and uh, you know it, it has been a while so I figured I would uh, switch it up on you guys a little bit throw the uh, Rev Classics back on it's a good looking wheel honestly I did it's an awesome wheel of course dad he's a fan of these wheels also uh, me and him ended up getting similar sets uh, I think I got this set first and then he ended up buying this car and it just happened to have the same setup on it after the fact I can't really remember how that went but vice versa one or the other he ended up buying that car and it had that set and I just happened to have mine so we kind of match but I think it looks good it's just mix it up you know time to mix it up so back to the point of this video um, so we're taking care of a few minor things on this truck that we have not addressed um, the headliner is sagging we're gonna fix that I have not actually showed you guys that as a matter of fact it, it's been a while y'all gonna have to excuse me uh, it's been a it's been a good summer it's been a, it's been a great summer we've just been traveling and enjoying it so I took a little break and uh, making our way back coming back to the channel just coming back to the channel just decided to take a little break for a little while and Kind of just enjoy summer, so haven't really been doing much with the builds, just to be honest with you guys. Been traveling a lot, been you know doing family stuff. So anyway, the headliner is sagging in this thing. It's kind of hard for me. Lighting is really poor, as you all can see. We got to get that fixed. Uh, the HC unit in this truck it blows semi cold air, but it's not the best. So we are going to try to fix that AC unit because I don't know what that's going to entail, but I think. I'm gonna end up using that AC, but I don't know. They make brackets and stuff where you can adapt the stock AC to that. So I don't know, I'm still kind of researching that, but just know the truck will have AC. We are not gonna full race truck this thing like the gray truck. This is gonna be a nice truck that you can drive, you can take your wife out on dates, and you can just enjoy. I wanna turn the key and go. I don't wanna have to fool with uh, you know anything stupid going on like Kind of the gray truck, you actually kind of have to drive that thing and, and you know, you have to watch the carburetor. I, I just want something that's like load and go, street truck, let it rip, and I don't have to worry. So the other thing that we're going to change up here, before we start getting into this crazy swap stuff, there is a few things on this truck that I need to take care of, and one is this splitter. You guys haven't noticed, because in a lot of the videos, it just doesn't show up, but it's pretty rough. This is actually a spare one that was laying around at my buddy's place, and you can see how just destroyed it is, and there's holes in it, and it just it looks kind of rough. So I wanted to update that, so I went ahead and got a splitter off of uh, eBay. And uh, so I went ahead and got this splitter off eBay. We're going to update the truck and put that on there because that one looks absolutely terrible. Okay guys, went ahead and got the truck on the lift because obviously it's so low you don't want to try to do this on the ground. But on your, uh, taking your front splitter off, you've got 
few bolts here on the inside. I got one here, here, here. It's a few on this side and over here and on this side as well. So it wraps all the way around. Um, so what we're going to do is pull this off. You can see just how beat up this thing is. I mean, there's holes in here and everything. Like this thing is killed. So that's why I'm really excited to do this and kind of neaten this thing up a little bit. But we're going to go ahead and take this thing off, mount the other one on, and then when we come back, we're going to be doing brakes as well. So I'm going to walk you guys through a brake job. Um, and then we're going to also uh, look at getting a headliner installed too. So I don't know if we're going to get the headliner on this video, but I did just want to kind of update you guys, let you know, you know, change the wheels out, the engine's still sitting there, and just starting to piece some parts together for this thing. Uh, just, you know, tidying up the loose ends, making sure everything is done. And this truck is 110%, so that way when we get ready to drop that LS in, um, you know, all goes well. So, anyways, let's get to it. We're going to start taking this thing apart. I'll try to walk you guys through a few steps. If this is your first time watching, of course, be sure and subscribe. And you can follow the backstory on this truck as well as where we're going with it. So, thank you again. Alright guys, I managed to get the old one off. And I wanted to show you this before I got too far along. One thing I did notice is that it's intended to tuck up inside the bumper so it, it, it hugs the lip if you guys can see there there's no room between the frame and the front bumper so what you're gonna have to do is loosen your front bumper loosen all the bolts in it you're gonna have to slide that bumper forward far enough to where you can slide your new splitter on you can see just how how beat up the old one was and this thing was killed guys it looked rough so in order to get it on though I'm gonna have to loosen the entire front bumper and slide it forward just ever so slightly to allow this to get over the lip because you want the top lip of that to go over your bumper elsewise it's going to look kind of funny and then there's a splash shield that happened to fall off on my truck as well but y'all some of y'all may not have that i don't know it's not really doesn't have much of an intention for a 2.8 liter v6 i mean there's not enough power here to even worry about it but i'm going to go ahead and take this loose i just wanted to share that with you guys and those bolts are kind of hard to get to if y'all can see them up hiding so you got two on each side and then you've got one on the corner so I do have uh, about six bolts here to take out and then I can slide this bumper forward and we're gonna do a test fit and see how our $22 eBay splitter works out but I just wanted to share that with you guys real quick before I get too far along all right guys I finally got everything loose so there is a few weird quirks to getting your front bumper loose so to get to these guys you're gonna need a couple different tools easiest way I found so most of the stuff is metric I used a 13 millimeter flex head that is the only way you're gonna get up in there you gotta come in from this side with a flex head you will not get it with a normal wrench there are two bolts way back up in here you guys can probably see the little piece sticking off and the only way to get to those is to drop in from the top this stick your hands through here and push on the flex head part to your solid and that is how you take those loose so it is pretty tricky guys it does it does kind of suck uh, another option you can use uh, I was trying a few different things here with some of these tools but just playing around uh, this swivel actually did okay getting this out. I was able to put a 3 8 drive on it with a swivel Pop that on there and that worked really good on these side ones So just a heads up if you guys are taking your front bumper off on your s10 keep in mind this truck is is fairly I won't say new but Low mileage so most of the stuff was still there and most of the stuff was not completely rusted So you guys have got a truck that's got some miles on it you're gonna go ahead I would recommend soaking everything in PB trying to get this bumper off it is pretty involved now as you guys can see I have got mine loose enough to where I think I can possibly try and sneak the valence in with the bumper on so I'm gonna try to pull this bumper out a little bit more and then sneak the valence on underneath it hopefully I can get this done without pulling a bumper I really don't want to because it just you're trying to line that back up I really don't want to I just want to pull it loose bring it forward a little bit and then toss this on so but anyway I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys also if you're if you're gonna put one of these on it's not just bolted on you're gonna have to pull your front bumper to get to it so there's a little bit more work involved to put a new splitter on 
your first Gen S10. But that's just what I found. So I'm going to go ahead and keep going. And then I'll show you guys the uh, end result here. Alright guys, that does the trick. It's the best thing to do. Loosen those bottom bolts up a lot more than the top. But that's going to give you access to this panel. Now we can see how far off it is. Looks like it's going to line up okay there. Catching the bolt hole somewhat decent. Uh, I'm seeing a bolt hole there. One there. One there. One there. And back into here. Kind of close. Might have to drill a little bit. Looks pretty good there. And back to here. So, I don't know guys. We're going to try this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to get the outside ones because you know you got to get these in place. We're going to snug these up out here on the outside first. That's going to be the first thing you want to do. Snug these up. And then we're going to go to the inside and just drill holes if we need to. I mean, it's plastic, guys, so this should be a piece of cake to drill. But this splitter looks a whole lot better than the stock one that we pulled off. All right, guys, so there you have it. There's your uh, finished product. Everything turned out pretty good. Honestly, uh, it lined up pretty good. So if, if you guys are having a problem with your splitter or it is just junked out like the one I used to have and you're in the market for one, go to eBay. The first one that pops up, it's about 22 bucks. You can't miss it. Um, the guy selling these, super fast delivery. So I got this thing in like uh, three days. And uh, the fit's really good. And this thing looks much, much cleaner with this new valence on it. The fit's pretty good too. I have to, you know, I have to, I have to say for what a cheap little splitter it is, it fits well. I don't notice a huge gap anywhere. I'm pretty happy with it. So now I will warn you guys, there is one hole that I had to deal with that was off center. They were all off a little bit, but one in particular was off so bad I couldn't get the bolts back in it. So I did have to drill that out. So I would recommend if you have a drill at home and you're not, you know, if you're not afraid to have to drill into something. Uh, go ahead and drill a couple of these holes out. They are a little tight. It just makes the installation a little bit easier. Just don't forget when you get everything back together to tighten that bumper back up. I did have to go back in and tighten the bumper up. All right, gotta let this thing settle. But uh, looks a whole lot better in the front. Of course, this thing's sitting kind of papal status right now. Keep in mind, it does need to settle about half an inch or an inch. They usually do that when you get them in the air. So, uh, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you like what you see, you want to go back and check out all the other content that's going on with this truck. I've got plenty more stuff coming up. And, uh, you know, just for future reference, in case you all... Uh, did not see the first half of this video for whatever reason we are doing an LS swap and that's kind of what all this is about is just preparation for uh, you know going through this harness fuel pump and everything with the LS of course low mileage engine so this should be a lot of fun in a first gen S10 uh, but anyways that's just a little recap of what's going on and where this thing's headed and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching if you haven't done it already, be sure and subscribe. I will catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy.